friends and lovers, welcome back to Modern Massacre. We are back online after a far too long hiatus. Uh, we're going back to playing sweet modern decks, and what is sweeter than Dredge? Uh, I'm sure everybody is familiar with it, but the basic idea is get cards with the keyword Dredge into your graveyard, such as Stinkweed Imp. Uh, dredge them on your draw step or with cards like Faithless Looting and Cathartic Reunion to put cards into your graveyard. Swing back things like Bloodgast, Prized Amalgam, and Narc Amoebas, and the new edition of Creeping Chill, which is a free Lightning Helix for us. Um, this card is super sweet. I'm not going to go into too much detail uh, with the deck because this is a tier 1 modern deck right now with a big showing at MC London. But... Uh, Let's not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the other Coast games. Let me know all of my misplays, and let's get into round one. All right, we won the die roll against Andreas Gur. Let's play. Uh, this hand is very bad. Only a basic amount of cathartic green in two Narcomilas, which you never really want to see in your hand. Oh, this hand is also very bad. We're going to five. This is workable. Let's put back a Cathartic Reunion and a Gemstone Mine. Oh, hold on. I got to get these messenger sounds out of here. Okay. Faithless Looting. Ooh, hit two dredgers. No possible play yield all and let's let our opponent do their thing. So this is good. We get to dredge Stinkweed Imp. Stinkweed Imp is our highest value dredger, and we have Cathartic Reunion, so we're definitely going to have a pretty explosive turn. Humans! With the turn one Aether Vial. Uh, stop on our upkeep is for Shriekhorn. Oh, <laughs> double creeping chill. Uh, let's just six our opponent here. Uh, we are going to play this stomping grounds we're gonna get our stomping grounds we need green so i guess we're gonna get an overgrown tomb we're gonna cast cathartic reunion discarding these cards dredge a stinkweed imp dredge a stinkweed imp dredge a life from the wall wow one blood guest one amalgam that's not great, but we do have more dredgers in our graveyard, so we're not out of gas. And two creeping chills, like that's going to stem any bleeding that Humes is going to be able to put up super duper early. Uh, we got a loam, so we'll dredge a thug. We're going to cast loam for copper line. Um, what if hills? Both of our basics are gone. I guess just. Forest. So we'll at least get two blood guests back. Um, I'm gonna play copper line. Always get back blood guests. Always yield these triggers. Dredge has so many triggers to be concerned about. Um, next turn we also get to flash back faithless looting, which is super sweet. Uh, that should set us up for a lot, especially where we have a wooded foothills. We should be able to put together a pretty good turn uh, this coming turn. Uh, that's our turn three. Our opponent, Thalia, kind of screws us up. Oh no, we, we'll have four lands. I'd rather not have to play a land before we get a chance to um, flashback Faithless Looting. Another Noble Hierarch. So they have little wiener blockers for days but okay they're gonna have like a thalia on combat as an ambush viper I'll take this upkeep stuff off i don't need it right now and they're thinking here's the thalia this has got to be it right sure so let's dredge loam Creeping chill. Okay, so we're going to conflagrate instead. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep, 
Yeah, I want to play this with the foothills. Red, one, red, one, two, three, four. Play with the foothills. And attack our opponent for quite a lot. Next turn, we do get to conflagrate them to death. Because we can loam back three lands and uh, flashback conflagrate. So let's dredge loam. Let's loam these three. I don't think they have anything that counters this, right? I need to fetch out a red source first. Oh, good, we have some. Oh, here comes a blood guest. Brings an amalgam friend. Now let's conflagrate them. I like getting non combat kills when I can. Okay. Humans. As far as sideboarding against Dredge. What does what does humans do for sideboarding against dredge? Um, do they need attention? Do they not? Does humans not play any graveyard hate? So, oh, ravenous traps! It looks like which we can't do anything about. They don't have anything main deck either, right? Like, they get to try to keep us from casting spells with, uh, which call it. So it looks like Ravenous Trap's really the only thing that could possibly screw us. So let's bring in a Dark Blast. Because I feel like that's probably pretty good against humans in the early game. We want to see it. Um, I don't expect... Anything else? Because I guess their their lands are super awkward for trying to cast other things, right? Cavern of Souls uh, and Ziggurat and that. So let's see how this goes. This could be entirely wrong. Uh, but I'm very inexperienced with Dreads. I've played three, four leagues with the deck so far. Oh. I'm going to keep this. Opponent chooses to keep a 7. My rationale is if they don't have Meddling Mage, I get to kill their early stuff with this Conflagrate. And they have no turn 1 play. No Vial. So let's try this. Right, either way, that allows me to discard a Stinkweed Imp. I think this is fine. And I said, if this is Meddling Mage, name Conflagrate, I'm not super duper upset. Black and white. What do they have for a black and a white? Thalia? Freebooter. There's a non creature? Non creature, non land. I'm sorry, dude. That just ain't happening. I do need to rattle off this Conflagrate, though. Um, oh, yeah, especially now. Right? One, two, three, four, two, four. I have six cards in hand. So I can go five. Red, red. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no possible play yield. Oh, we gotta go fast. I've been watching a lot of speedrunning lately, particularly the world of GoldenEye speedrunning. I uh, don't know if any of our viewers are into it. I highly recommend checking it out. It's actually a pretty technical game with a lot of really interesting discoveries, um, such as Bond has an acceleration value 
Uh, so as soon as you push the control stick forward, he accelerates for about a second before he reaches his max speed. But if you use any of the two point X control schemes, uh, oh, there's Athalia, the ones that use two controllers, you get to do some really wacky stuff like uh, you do some really wacky stuff such as push the control stick in the uh, in the cutscene and it registers the input. So now you're accelerating Bond before the game actually starts. Um, and you get to just move. You get to be at full speed. It's only really useful for the simpler levels, uh, but it's a really cool trick. There's also one level, I forget which one it is off the top of my head, but um, you are actually able to... Uh, use the second controller to shoot a console before... Oh, this is a meddling mage here, eh? Probably. What are they naming? Meddling mage... Loam? That's the only thing that I have that I can, like, cast right now? They could name, like, Faithless Looting in case I hit it. Which isn't bad. But I figure they're probably going to name Loam. Maybe Conflag. I only have one more Conflag. Stinkweed. Well, I'm, I don't plan on casting Stinkweed Imp. That's fine. Hit me. No. They're not brave enough. Dredge Imp. We hit a Faithless Looting. Let's go. Um, we don't have Black. Let's go Blood Crypt. So let's loot. Oh, fuck. Valley is really awkward. Oops. Always be attacking. If they get to block one for free, they still take two. Um, they'll probably come at me for two here. So next turn, if they have another meddling mage to name Loam, like that's probably the better thing to do, right? It's got to be to name Loam. Anyway, yeah, you can shoot a console uh, in a golden eye level before uh, the opening cutscene is done, and that to me is hilarious. Another free boots. You can see two stinkweed imps that I cannot cast right now. So what are we doing? We're dredging Loam this turn. Our opponent has seen so many lands. They just send, yeah, they just sent with the meddling mage. That's fine. Uh, loan, please. Ooh. Gemstone mine, water foothills. I'm gonna get steam vents. I'm gonna play foothills. Yeah, I'd like to bring back Blood Guest. Uh, we can't attack with this Blood Guest. I don't really want to. Like, it's kind of awkward. Next turn, we get to start faithlessly looting. What do we have? We do have another Stinkweed Imp to dredge. So a big hope would actually be dredge Imp hit Conflagrate. Our opponent has seen six lands. This deck only plays like 18, right? 19. Oh, man. Okay, this is a Reflector Mage. Okay. Probably bounces my Amalgam. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Our opponent's going to hit us in the air for one. Probably. This is another Kite Sail Freebooter. <laughs> It's like the most awkward of draws for our opponent. Okay. Let's see. That's fine. Alright. Dredge Stinkweed Imp. We hit a Faithless Looting. 
which we're going to cast. Just going to get a forest now. Right. Dredge. Imp. Dredge. Thug. Let's grab both of those. Yeah, creeping chill them. This has honestly been pretty anemic. These guys are not able to block, so we might as well attack. Like one of them is getting through. So now our guests are going to have haste. Oh, and we get to bring an amalgam back with them, actually. Okay, so we're still trying to hit chills. We've hit. We've only hit one chill, right? Yeah. So another reflector, phantasmal image, naming meddling mage, I assume, or copying meddling mage. Or does a copy a reflector? Opponent's taken an amount of time to think about this. And they're not going to copy a freebooter, I don't imagine. Because they can suss out what's in our hand, right? Like, they, if they've been paying attention, they have perfect information as to the cards in our hand. But they're taking their sweet time. So. Yeah, the world of speedrunning is a really cool world. Oh, here's the meddling mage. And what is it going to name? Conflagrate, probably. The named card is Faithless Looting. Okay, that's pretty good. Two, three, four. Attacking with Thalia. Oh, they might have a second Thalia in hand to play. And this is what? Six damage? That's fine. They don't have the second Thalia. Okay, so Dredge Imp. Oh, ho, ho. Our opponent? Might just be dead? Like, I'm pretty sure our opponent's just dead, right? They can block five, they're still going to take four. There's nothing with flash that they can play, right? That was a really, really anemic draw from our opponent, and our draw was pretty slow. I think we got fairly lucky to uh, win this one out, but there's match number one under wraps. Uh, all right, we are 1-0 in our league, and we're going to move into round two. Stay tuned. We are going to launch into game two. You're going to notice my audio is going to shift a little bit during a couple of these episodes or during a couple of these matches. Unfortunately, I'm still trying to figure out audio systems. I just got a new microphone and we're going to see if we can't get this sounding much better than our old Modern Massacre recordings. I kind of as part of this reboot to the series. So just wanted to give you a heads up. Hopefully my fridge doesn't cause a catastrophe on this recording like it did last time. And we're going to see you in match two. Okay, we are rocking into match two against Klein 7. And we're going to look at our opening hand. This, this is really awkward. These two cards here are really bad. Um, but... This has basically everything that we want, so I think we're going to keep it. I think we have to. Right? Like, we could take a mulligan, but it doesn't really get much better than this. So we're going to stomping grounds. Our opponent has kept seven as well. Hmm. 
Oh, there we go. That's pretty great. Discard both of those. We get to play a Copper Line Gorge next turn. Uh, we don't have a Black Source, but I don't think we need it right now. I mean, we can always just loam for a Black Source. I wasn't, well, I wasn't expecting to draw a Copper Line Gorge. You always want green to be able to cast loam. Is this humans again? <laughs> okay, we're on the humans double feature here. Uh, we got the turn one Noble Hierarch this time. So let's see what our opponent's going to put up for us. We get to cast this Cathartic. I mean, there's no disruption for that, which is very good. Uh, let's dredge Imp. What do we hit? Not much, really. Uh, but we'll cast a Cathartic Reunion. We're going to discard Stinkweed Imp and... Do I want to discard an Archimiva or a Creeping Chill? Let's discard an Archimiba. I would rather cast this at some point. Uh, Dredge Imp. Dredge Thug. We've hit a Archimiba, but so far no... No Blood Guests or anything. That sucks. Uh, next turn we get to Conflagrate a bunch of stuff, which is going to be really good. And, uh, you know, we still have Imps. To dredge, which is great. And we're just going to discard the majority of this stuff here. We're going to play. This is probably Meddling Mage naming Conflagrate. I'm going to guess. Yeah, sure. Okay, we're going to flashback Faithless Looting then. We're going to dredge, Stinkweed Imp. Two Amalgam's Bloodgast. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'll use Blood Gas's ability. Yield to those. Cast Faithless Looting. Dredge Loam. Dredge Loam. Discard Stinkweed Imp. Stinkweed Imp. And an Archimiba. And this is good for timing. It's going to get this third amalgam back on our turn. So it doesn't really truly matter, but uh, let's attack our opponent for one in the air. We're going to have a very big board this coming turn. It sucks that we can't cast Conflagrate because of Meddling Mage, but yeah, it is what it is. We, oh. Well, I guess, I guess we're yielding because of no possible play yield though. So we have 13 power on board. We have three Creeping Chills left in the deck. Mm -hmm. Like this is, we could have a very big turn this coming turn. Opponent didn't play a second land last turn as well. Uh, what do we got for us, Thalia? This is probably, yeah, sure. Let him for a way. Oh, a champion of Paris, of course. Okay. Well, let's dredge a stinkweed imp. There's a creeping chill. So we're going to three hour opponent here. We are going to loam, wood of foothills, gemstone mine, mountain. All right, maybe we get to cast this loam. We'll gemstone mine back a blood guest. And let's send with the team. Opponent, yeah, that's a free block. They still take like our blood guests next turn have haste. They don't know that we have a Creeping Chill in hand. They can deduce that we have a number of them left in our library. So I think basically all dredge decks are playing four of these now. Do we consider... No, no. I was thinking of maybe bringing in Lightning Bolts from the sideboard for these Meddling Mages, but Dark Blast is good enough because we can cast it on upkeep dredge it, 
cast it again to kill a meddling mage. This is a reflector mage. That's fine. Our opponent having to tap that for mana means they are in fact just dead. They just don't know it yet. Yep, bounce an amalgam. Like the way they see it, they have enough blockers. I mean, they had to make that play, I guess, right? We still get to dredge a stinkweed imp. I'll play a mountain. Oh, we get these blood ghasts back. Sure. Um, black. Okay, yeah, our opponent's seen enough. Let's bring in this dark blast. It's a ravenous trap seems to be the only real thing that they can bring in against us. Um, these lightning bolts are a consideration, but I'm not super big on it. Maybe just bring in a dark blast, cut a shriek horn. Because uh, dark blast is very good. And we'll see what our opponent wants to put together in game two. Okay, we are launching right into game two. We're hoping to see a dark blast. That's like that's the card we really want to see. We want to be killing early things. We want to be killing Thalia's. Uh, <laughs> that is zero lance. Um, this is pretty good, I think. And I'm gonna put this ghost quarter to the bottom because I don't think I need it. All right, we gotta go faithless looting. Try to find dredgers. Like, they don't even have the turn one play if we did have the Dark Blast, so. Oh, sweet. Perfect. We're guaranteed to be able to dredge. Uh, I'm going to discard these two. Yeah. That's fine. Because I get a discard thug and amalgam to uh, to cathartic reunion, and then I get to dredge thug and whatever else turns up. So this way, I won't get this amalgam back from this blood guest. I could have just went for it. Here's Thalia, not meddling mage, naming faithless looter. They could blind name, conflagrate, cathartic reunion. They're probably going to name like Faithless Looting. Let's see. Oh, they, they named cathartic reunion. Sure. That's okay. We dredged a chill. We dredged another Faithless Looting. Uh... I don't have anything to do with this mana now, eh? So I think I'm just gonna play that intact. Get the get these blood guests. Cause he's not gonna block them with meddling mage. I'm hoping next turn if he doesn't have a Thalia, then we get to flashback Faithless Looting. And we're really off to the races. It's really nice that we hit this stink weed up so we can kinda keep the ball rolling. The opponent's on three lance. We got this is Thalia. Oriok champion. Sure. Okay. Pro Black's pretty good. Dredge Imp. Dark Amoeba. Uh, just always yield our trigger. That's fine. You know, flashback of Faithless Looting here. Dredge Imp. Dredge Dark Blast. Discard Stinkweed Imp, Stinkweed Imp. Yeah. I could have discarded the Amalgam, but that's fine. Honestly. We're gonna get in with these Blood Guests. They can't block, so. I mean, the blood gas can't block. They certainly can block the blood gas, but that's fine. So I want to put a stop on my upkeep now. Because I want to 
Dark Blast, Dredge, Dark Blast, Kill the Meddling Mage, Cathartic Reunion. Provided this isn't like Athalia. Okay, this is a Reflector Mage. Sure. Probably gonna bounce on Nerk Amoeba? Right? Because they can just stall... They're gonna bounce on Blood Gas? They can just block that straight time. I don't understand. Okay, upkeep. Dark Blast. Pass through upkeep. Dredge Dark Blast. Ooh, conflagrate, eh? We don't want that yet, but we can go jumpstone mind. Get back a blood ghast. We have some triggers. Always yield to Amalgam. Dark Blast this guy for a black. Dark Blast is so sweet. Discard. Discard? Yeah, that I think is more impactful. Dredge Amp. Dredge Amp. Dredge. Uh, do we dredge a Dark Blast to have it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. And our one amalgam is going to bring two friends. Next turn we get to set up to make our blood ghasts hasty. Because we can dredge a loam. Yeah. They get to gain some life, but that's fine. That's honestly just fine. The double blood, the double, the double dark blast. Again, I'm, I'm just so amped on that. It does honestly very much in this matchup. That's Athalia's lieutenant. Sure. They get to make their boys a little more swole. Reflector Mage now does a very good job blocking, um, Prized Amalgam. But we might just go to a point. Phantasmal Image, Thalia's Lieutenant. Yeah, sure. So we're definitely targeting Thalia's Lieutenant with Conflagrate. It's a matter of what all we want to kill. And so boom. They can attack if they want. Sure. They're confident enough now that they don't need to worry about that too much. So I'm going to dredge loam. We get these back, they gained more life. I think. So I'm not going to be able to make. Uh, no, I don't need to worry about that right now. I will dredge loam. We have hit another conflagrate. So, I have four discards. One, two, three, four is probably actually the play. One, two, three, four. Okay. Red, red. One, two, three, four. This still has valid targets, right? So it's still going. Yeah, perfect. We will loan back gemstone mine. I don't know. Wood Foot Hills Blood Crypt. We just want to play one of these to get back three blood ghasts. Hmm, absolutely, yes. They gain three life. They get to block three damage. Say so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And they're still going to take eleven. Yeah, that's fine. 
Next turn, we're going to dredge loam again. Uh, we're going to loam and conflagrate. Oh, there's Cycle and Horizon Canopies. Three cards in hand, two mana. They're facing a pretty rough board state, and that's it. All right, we are, as it stands right now, 2-0 against humans and humans in this modern league, and we'll be back for round three. Coming in for round three with Dredge from the Other Coast Games. Quick recap, we are indeed 2-0-4-0 right now uh, against Andreas Gurr on humans and Klein7 on humans. Maybe we'll face another player on humans. Seems like a pretty good matchup for Dredge. Um, they don't have a lot of room to play a lot of Graveyard Hate. They get to do annoying stuff with like Meddling Mage, like we saw uh, in game one against Klein. They got to take us off of Conflagrate, would have, which would have just ruined their entire career, to be fair. Um, I'm excited to see what happens in round three. Let's go. Yeah, we're getting dug in deep against Bon Sheen. Let's go. We would love to play first. Uh, this hand's horrible. Five lands in the 19 land deck. Oh, I really don't want to be drawing to a land. But let's keep it, and we can put this chill back, and we can... Like, if we draw a land, this is insane, I think. Right, because we have these two Stinkweed Imps. But we do need to actually draw on our draw step. Um, just so we can get the mana to eventually cast Loams, cast this Cathartic Reunion. Okay. Bobble. I've been seeing a lot in uh, Hello Bobble Ink Moth Nexus. Draw land. Hey, hey, never didn't have it. Um, if they're playing Ink Moth Nexus, I don't think our life total matters a huge, huge amount. So let's go. Boom. 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 Ooh. Three amalgams and two creeping chills. Oh. Is this magical Christmas land? Like, uh, I feel like I'm going to be ripping on, well, memes. Maybe Pleasant Kenobi. But, uh, you know, this feels like just dredge things that we're doing right now. Like, we've just put lethal, uh, no, not lethal, very close to lethal on the board. Okay, this is Infect. It's actual straight up Infect. We're going to mill ourselves, hit a thug. I think we just want to try to hit more creeping chills, right? There's another Narc Amoeba. Put that out. Um, we're going to go to combat. We're going to attack with everything. And we have a flying blocker. Alright, there's game one. Infect. Definitely want Dark Blast. Do we want Nature's Claims? Do I care? Ancient Grudge. That's the answer to Nexus and stuff, right? That's got to be. And I feel like I can maybe cut a Creeping Chill. In this case, like... Yeah, this seems fine, right? Like, I just want ways to be able to kill their stuff. They did not spend much time sideboarding. We are not going to spend much time considering this here hand. Whew. Opponent is taking a fair amount of time considering their hand, which is fine. Mm. There's an ancient grudge, but a bunch of crap. A mulligan. This is good. Put that back. Put 
conflagrate back. Here's the glistener elf. Sure. Okay, let's draw our amoeba. Don't care so much about our life total because infect. So let's faithless looting. Discard. Discard. No dredger yet. We do get a blood gas back next turn. We get to shriek horn as well. I think we want to shriek horn before we faithless looting, just in case we hit dredgers. To me, that makes sense. Our opponent's probably just going to try to go fast against us. Yep. Yeah. Opponent is fetching. Is this mono green infect? Yeah, okay. Ground swell. So we're going to take six. So we're in a hard spot. We're going to draw because we have to. I kind of just want to actually deploy this Narc Amoeba as a blocker because I don't have any dredgers yet. Right? And I can't block with a blood ghast. Next turn we get to start cracking off. I like this basic. Look at that. That is some Atenzana art. Spellskite. Interesting. Well, we have to block. Yep, that's okay. We don't have any dredgers. There's a blood gas. So let's shriek horn. So we can mill ourselves over. Cathartic Reunion, Dark Blast. Dredge, Dark Blast, Dredge, Stinkweed Imp. Did not hit any blockers, which is unfortunate. I'm gonna get back some Blood Guests. Uh, we really need to hope that we're just not dead this turn. Because I'm going to Ancient Grudge the Spellskite. We're going to need green. That's fine. Ancient Grudge. So if our opponent has any pump spell... Oh, fuck. I just accidentally passed through my turn, too. Okay. This is fine. Like... That two points of damage I don't think really matters. If they have any... Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Mono green infect. A. Eh? I think what we're doing here, what we're continuing to do is just fine. Um, I don't think we need to bring in like nature's claims or bolts or anything. I don't feel like Leyline of the Void to stop Become Immense is a reasonable play at all. Uh, I think that's just actively bad. So we're going to keep rocking this way. Hopefully we have like a Dark Blast or something. There's a lot going on here. Like we also just need to like deploy blockers and stuff, right? So I want to mill over myself with Shriekhorn first, I believe. I'm going to mulls to six. And they have kept six. So this hand, I think, is going to be for a much faster start. Do they have like surgicals or anything? Mill ourselves. 
It's an amalgam. What we want to see is Dark Blast. There's a Stinkweed Imp. Right, that gets us closer. That's good. We've hit an Ancient Grudge too, which is nice. We're going to cast Faithless Looting. Discard those. We are going to play a tap steam vents. And we are going to get our guys back. Like, it's nice to have this Narcomiba as a blocker. We're going to get two amalgams. We have Faithless Lootings to flash back. Hopefully, the Stinkweed Imp finds us some more stuff. Okay. They appear to have blue. This one plus one can't be blocked. So we get hit for three. So we really want to find Dark Blast. But we have to get this back. Is there a way that we can Hmm. Jumpstone mine. I could have. Well, shoehorn now. There's a dark blast. So, as long as we're not dead this coming turn, discard Stinkweed Imp, Foothills. Might as well get him while we can. So the opponent gets Distortion Strike, so it's 3, 4. If they have any pump spell, we're actually just dead. Because we found the Dark Blast to turn too late. Yeah. But they do, in fact, like need to kill us now, right? So that's seven, eight. Yeah, all right. That's fine. We'll take an L. Uh, unfortunate. I probably should have mulled into a dark blast. We probably could have had that game if I had done so. Uh, but we are 2-1 and one in the league, and we'll see you in for game four. Here on the Other Coast Games, we're not one to let losses get us down. Uh, we are currently 2-1 in this league. We just lost to Blue Green Infect. Uh, entirely on my bad decision. I should have mulliganed to find a Dark Blast in Game 3. I think that would have gone incredibly far in keeping them down. Um, I used to play Jund, and, like, you know, rule number one against Infected is interact with them, right? Like, I think that deck's in kind of a resurgent right now because there's a lot of decks that are just trying to go fast. Like, Tron's very good. Uh, Dredge is very good. Phoenix is very good. And they also go fast. Um, I imagine they just crumble to, like, Grixis Death Shadow, but there's a lot of good matches for Infect right now, I think. We're going to dig right into round four, and we're not going first. Wow. Okie dokie, let's get rid of that. Uh, this is okay. You know what? Uh, I'm going to put back Steam Vents, because we get to... We're going to go for the Shriekhorn first. I think, yeah, we're definitely going to go for Shriekhorn first. Okay, our opponent's going to opt. So this is turn one spell pierce on my Shriekhorn. So this is blue eye control. That's a sweet basic. Man. Uh, let's just know myself. Ooh, wow. Glad I went this route. Very glad I went this route. Like, we get to cast Loam next turn if we really want to. Yeah, this is blue eye control, of course. 
Do we hit a dredger? We hit a dark blast. That's ah, worth dredging. We hit a blood guest. Let's get this guy back. We will cast life from the loam. What do we want? We want a black source? Okay. We're going to cast loam, gemstone mine, ghost quarter fetch. This allows us to keep their colonnades down for now. Uh, oh, sure. Sure, sure, sure. So, ignore everything that I just said. We get to dredge it. Wall of Omens. I've been seeing this card played a lot more recently. Let's mill ourselves. I'm probably going to dredge this loam, but I at least want to see what I can find. Yeah, I want loam. Oh, creeping shell. We're going to cast loam. We are going to play what? Uh, gemstone mine. Conflag for zero. Because next turn we get to start doing things with Conflag. I I can't block with this blood ghast, so like should probably just attack with it, but I feel like this sends more of a message, right? Opponent has Field of Ruin, which doesn't do a whole lot against us. It does set them up. They do have Cryptic Mana. Let's dredge an imp. We find Conflagrate, which we put in there. Faithless Looting is what we are going to go for. I'm going to let them try to Cryptic this. There's the old counter draw. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we'll play that out. So we get to dredge. There's a colonnade. Let's dredge an imp. There's an archamoeba. Finally get to get this amalgam back. There's some faithless lootings. So we're gonna try that again. If they have another counter, so be it. Ooh. Imp. Imp. Discard. Imp imp. We had two creeping chills. Do we not hit any blood guests? No, we did not. Uh, let's go ahead and put out this ghost quarter and I guess we're just gonna pass all of our ghasts now are gonna be hasty all right so that's really good we have care opponent with three creeping chills there's still another faithless looting in here Let's dredge imp. Three amalgams. No gas, huh? Can't. Well, let's go ahead and let's attack. That's the thing to do first. Settle the wreckage. Let's. Dark Blast, our Blood Guest in response. I'll search, because I actually think we do have basics. Hilarious. Uh, always yes to these guys. Always yield. So we are now rebuilt pretty quick. Um... 
we now want to try to conflag them, right? Do I have any fetchables left in my deck? I actually don't know. So I'm just going to pass. I'm just going to get my amalgams back. And let's let all the triggers come to light. Opponent goes to nine. Okay. So now we kind of can be selective on attacks, right? Like they have Snapcaster Settle. Not anymore. D Sphere. Sure, they're going to get our amalgams. That's pretty good. But this kind of gives us Cart Watch on our turn, right? Dredge Imp. Two Narc Amoebas, a Blood Guest. I'm not confident that I actually have a source that I can get back. That I can get with this, but I'm going to try. Oh my gosh, I do. Um, the life doesn't matter just in case I need the mana. Yes, please. We're going to go for Conflagrate. Two, three, four, five, six. Red, red, one, two, three, four, five, six. Three. What do they have for three? Oh, logic knot for six. No, oh, okay. Hit them down to seven. Pass the turn. So we're gonna dredge loam. There's an Archimeba, but not the creeping chill. So it doesn't really matter what we get, eh? What we try to get. This feels like I'm walking into Snapcaster Settle. Okay, no. So now I want to conflag them. Do I conflag them this turn? So if I conflag them for two. We're going to pass. Opponent, Wrath of God. Okay. Dredge Wall. There's the Creeping Chill. Uh, 
one flag you for four. See if that works. Okay. No. Give me my blood ghast. What's the last card in my library? I have no idea. We're very close to losing. That's a wall. Hmm. Huh. All right. Well, let's commit Faithless Looting Seppuku. And we're against blue white control, eh? Dark Blast feels pretty bad. I'm gonna try Raven's Crime. Seems pretty good. They're gonna be on. on Rest in Pieces for sure. So let's try this. I don't know. I, have, I probably made a mistake. I probably should have attacked with the Narc Amoebas, not the Blood Ghasts that turn. That's probably where I went wrong. And feel free, of course, to let me know in the comment section where I went wrong. Um, really do appreciate any and all feedback. Because putting out videos and that, you know, we, we play decks that we don't necessarily get a lot of experience with. This is fine. We have a Shriekhorn. And we're not gonna fire it off just yet. We want to see what our opponent's up to on turn one. Double loan, eh? Cool. Bridge line. Find a base that's looting. Let's go ahead and play a stomping ground. I have a funny feeling they're just gonna... I'll try this. Cathartic Reunion Conflagrate. Yeah, we're just gonna loam. Because they're probably gonna slam rip on turn two. Okay. Alright. Being a little conservative. Oh, an Archimiba. Come here. So, let's dredge loam. Blood gas, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Catharic reunion? See if this resolves. Wow. Dredge loan. Dredge loan. Opponent just gives it to us, so we don't even have an opportunity to see what kind of hate they're on. They're running it back. <laughs> Showed up. Our opponent showed up. <sighs> they just wasted like 10 minutes of my time, which I'm not super happy about. But uh, our opponent has shown up. Cycle elimination. Hmm. 
We've drawn a stink weed imp. I think this is where we're at. If we don't get ripped here, when we find the land. There's a wall of omens. Okay, well, we fly over that for now. Loam would be a nice hit. There we go. Stop the ground, go score the mountain. Spell snare? Sure. Dive with all creatures. Two faithless lootings in there. Long. Cancel. Okay, we're probably gonna get cur oh they don't have cryptic mana. Could have like a negate or something. They don't, thankfully. Um, I'll pay the two life just in case they have a rip. I'd like to kill it on their turn. Let's flow green, get our forest. So this is going to get them their blue mana for Cryptic. That's fine. Celestial Purge. Sure. I don't know about Dark Blast to do anything about that. That's okay. Let's dredge loan. Creeping chill, eh? Yeah. Let's go to combat. Let's attack. Let's go border. Now let's attempt to cast Faithless Looting. Here's a cryptic. It's fine. My opponent's at 11. We're pretty close to a point where we can conflagrate them to death. All right. I oh, will dredge. Stink weed him. Yeah, there's an earth amoeba. Yeah. Let's play mountain. Okay. So actually probably a bit of miss sequencing there. I want to make sure I got that. Uh, let's attempt to cast Faithless Looting. Okay, there's the other, another cryptic. And they concede. Well, you know what? I'm pretty happy with that outcome because our opponent made us wait for friggin' ever to actually be able to play that match. Um, I mean, like, I get it. Internet problems suck, and that's probably what happened, and uh, I'm not actually frustrated. So, uh, we are currently 3-1, which means we at least get our league entry back. We're positive on the wins, and uh, we'll see you guys in the last and final round of this league. <laughs>
we are coming into our final match of our dredge league and i'm feeling good i'm feeling good we're getting in right away we have a positive record we're going second against kretz jr 86 and uh let's see what kind of opening hand we get we want faithless lootings we want cathartic reunions we want an explosive couple of first turns as dredges want to do this looks really bad like these are fine no green we could go quarter ourselves for a green these in our hand aren't great we our opponent's model gaining the six this is really bad we're probably going to go to five but our opponent has just us good luck and to have fun no oh, kretz you have fun good luck to you this is a way better hand we have to put back two cards there we go spire bluff phoenix Restore balance? Hi, I'm game. Good light from the loam, eh? Ooh, cathartic reunion. My darlings, how have you been? This looks like a really good hug, right? Like, this is a, a, a good hug to be experiencing. We're getting called a dirty dredge player, and it's fair. Entirely fair. Um, we drew really lucky on this mall to five as well. Like, to dredge this, maybe we hit like a stinkweed imp or something. We have another, like, we're guaranteed to at least have three dredges on this cathartic. I'm really confused. Okay, well, getting the word out now. Kretz, thank you. Thank you for checking it out, man. Uh, thank you so much for checking this out. Let's dredge a loam. Ooh, we hit a stinkweed imp. We are off to the races. Absolutely off to the races. I mean, if our opponent has a counter spell, I can't imagine that uh, something that's playing Greater Gargadon is also going to be playing counter spells. But I mean, we'll we'll see. We'll see. Remand. Oh. I did not expect a remand out of the Greater Gargadon deck. <laughs> Kretz, my dude, you're you're throwing me for a loop. There's a Serum Visions. How do you scry? One top, one bottom. Steam vents. Suspense an ancestral. Suspends a gargadon. I. Huh. This not going to be a creeping chill. It's a good deck. I really like Kretz DM me the uh, the deck list here 
I'm really like I'm concerned more than anything. This this looks super sweet. This seems super sweet. Stinkweed imp. Uh, life from the lung. Stinkweed imp. That's really good. Uh, I gotta do my no possible ways yield all. Like I always expect Gargadon to be in like restore balance. What what are we what are we playing against? Oh, this is is this like electro balance? This has got to be electro balance, right? Yeah, I think I'm putting the pieces of the puzzle together now. You, okay, that's a flame slash. Uh, I'll keep. We're gonna dredge. Stinky. We're gonna attempt to loam now. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, let's see if he's got it. What do we do against electro ballots? Um, well, what are they likely to have for graveyard hate? I hate to look up your deck on you. Uh, modern electro balance. What are Tormod's crypt? Yeah, okay, okay, okay. This is what this is what we're we're looking at. Something close to this. Um Tormod's Crypt, Blood Moons. That's gotta be Okay. So I'm actually gonna bring in Raven's Crime. It's, I don't know if this is right at all. I'd really like to know. So I'd like to look here, and exile is where things with time counters go, right? This is really close, but no, we are going to. They've kept seven. This is fine. I need to put back creepy chill. Yeah. We don't have a green for this loan yet. We can make one, though. Well, you know, we can just find one. So we definitely want to Shriekhorn on their end step in case they do have a Tormod's Crypt. We want to get the most action out of this that we can. Especially if we can hit some dredgers, like we have the Cathartic Reunion. As long as we don't get balanced 
right away. Are they on one land? Kratz, my dude. There's Relic. Okay. So now we know what graveyard hate we're up against. They probably have us exile. I think we have to exile Amalgam. Dredge 2 is probably. Yeah, and you know. Keep Dredge deck more salvage. Perfect. Yeah. I want to get my green online here. We're going to lose a bunch of our graveyard after this turn. So let's make a count. Imp. Loam. Imp. Ooh. How many ghasts did we mill over? Just one more? Okay, that's actually not too bad. Like... Okay, they're gonna opt. I think Kretz is looking for a land. It's a, a bold strategy. Okay, let's mill ourselves. This deck doesn't play like spirit guides or anything, right? No, okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Dredge Imp. Second, another Blood Gas day. Eh? Um, let's go Ghost Quarter. Oh, yes. Yeah, I get these. Um, two, three, four, five, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, let's do it this way. I want to keep loam, like in case something happens, and we have exaxes. GG's Kretz. I uh, really would have loved to see that deck go off, but uh, hey, we went 4 and 1, which was pretty sweet. Um, stay tuned. Uh, no, you know what? We can do this right now. Let's open our treasure chest, shall we? Treasure chest number 1. 5 play points. Ooh, a Thoughtseize. And a Sarah Angel. I love that Sarah Angel art. Number 2. 25 play points and a Fauna Shaman. Not bad. Number three, five play points, a beacon unrest, and a bloodline keeper. And number four, hey oh, 45 play points and a Teferi's puzzle box. Well, that was that was a lot of play points that we got, which was which is friggin' fantastic. I could not be more thrilled. Folks, please, if I can try to convince you of one thing, please subscribe. To the other coast games uh, modern massacre is going to be coming out i think on a bi-weekly basis um and i would expect to see reddit polls for what deck to play uh next deck i'm torn between were prison in honor of my incredibly loud refrigerator or green shoal brand uh which is the one and only true name for that deck if you ask one guy on reddit um because it's absolutely absurd um, or third option, like I have Salt Eye Reclamation built in paper. I love the deck, and I think I want to take a league through that. Um, but I think that one can wait. I think that's more of a stable deck, and I want to play Mimi, Mimi dumb shit while I can. Again, please subscribe to the Other Coast Games for more fantastic Modern Massacres, and we'll see you next time.